Okay, now I'm going to set another slight level of automation for the belly and then I'll add the deformation bones. Uh, this will be fairly simple. Need a Blender add-on? Stop by addons.cgdive.com and discover hundreds of well-organized Blender resources. I won't need the drivers for now, so I'm going to contract this screen. And now I'm going to select all of the MCH bones, belly MCH bones. Go to edit mode, shift D, and with individual origins, I'm going to scale these bones up a little bit. Now I want to batch rename those. Data type to bones, find and replace, and I want to get rid of the MCH prefix. So in find, I'm going to type MCH and replace nothing. Okay, the MCH uh, prefix is gone. Now I want to get rid of this uh, 0 0.001 as well. So batch rename, find 0 0.001 and replace it with nothing. Okay. So for these bones that I just created, I'll create a transformation constraint, which we have done many times so far. Also, because these bones do not have any prefix, MCH, DEF, and so on, the user will be able to manipulate these bones directly. Let's go to pose mode. Okay, let's select uh, the newly created bone in the center and then shift select the MCH bone below it. Control shift C. No, actually I have to shift select the new bone and then I'll press Control shift C and choose transformation. For the transformation, location to location is fine. We want local space to local space. And we definitely want the Y location of the MCH bone to drive the Y location of the new bone. So what we can do is check extrapolate for source type Y minus one and max of one. And for the destination, exactly the same thing. Minus one to one. Now this new bone will pretty much copy the movement of the MCH bone. And if that's what I wanted, I could have just parented these bones, but I want to automate a little bit more. So I'm going to need axis for that. And I can see that the positive Z axis is going in this direction. For this constraint, I want the Y of the source to drive the Z of the destination. And here for the Z of the destination, I'm going to type something like minus 0 0.1 and for the max 0 0.1. And the effect that that has is that this bone will also move slightly outwards. And that is good because if it only moved upwards, uh, we're going to lose some volume in the belly. But by adding this translation on the z-axis, uh, we're going to mitigate that a little bit. Now I need to add a very similar constraint to the other bones. So let's select all of them. Then shift select the central bone, pose, constraints, copy constraints. Now for this S1 bone, all I need to do is change the target bone to MCH S1, MCH belly S1.L. Here we have S2.L. So I need to change the target bone to MCH belly S2.L. Okay, on the other side, I want MCH belly S1.R and over here S2. MCH belly S2.R. Now let's test. This side seems to be working as I expect. The side as well. And the right side as well. Okay, let's add our uh, deformation bones and we are almost done here. Go to edit mode, select all of the largest bones for each belly part. Shift D, duplicate them and make them a little bit bigger. Patch rename, 
let's give them a prefix. So set name, prefix, def dash, okay? And then again, batch rename, find replace, and I want to get rid of this dot zero zero one. So find dot zero zero one and replace with nothing. Okay. And now the deformation bones, I just want to parent to the bones without any prefix. So that's the bone just below them. Parent them with keep offset. Now these deformation bones still have a transformation constraint because I copied them from the bone that had that kind of constraint. So what I need to do is select them all and press Ctrl, Alt and C and that will remove the constraint. The same thing can be achieved from Pose Constraint, Clear, Pose Constraints. I notice a very small problem that I need to fix. If I move the left leg, it will affect the central bone, but the right leg does not affect it. And that is because the equation of this uh, central bone does not include the distance to the right leg. So let's do that. I'm going to select the second bone in this pyramid of bones that we have here. It is the MCH bone and it has a driver. I'll expand this driver field again. I need to add another variable. I'll set it to distance again and call it dist underscore r. Object 1 will be the meta rig. Object 2 also the meta rig. For the bones, I want the belly proximity C, and for the bone of object two, I want leg proximity dot R. I'm also going to rename this variable to dist underscore L, and that will produce an error. I need to add underscore L to my dist variables in my expression. Now I'm going to put this whole expression in parentheses, select it all and press Ctrl C to copy it. Then I'll type plus and then I'm going to paste this expression. And then I'm going to substitute underscore L with underscore R in the second part of this equation. And this may seem a little bit convoluted, but all it does is makes this center bone react to both uh, the proximity of the left and the right legs. And if both legs get close to this bone, which won't happen very often, but if it does, then the offset of this bone will be added together because of this addition that I have here. So basically everything below the plus sign says, if the left leg is getting near, move this bone up. And the expression after the plus says, if the right leg is going near, move this bone up. And the plus sign adds both of these uh, together. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe, and check out our other projects, academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com.